Hello everybody. How are you all doing? I realise that there has been a little bit of shocking news for you um, in my last video with regards to Toby and Yvonne from having you on leaving the community. I hope you really listened to what I said about um, this being a foster nursery so we can love them for as long as they are here love them enjoy them and I could never you know see me parting with some of them but then something happens and you just think yeah yeah I will talk about it more because I also want to answer the questions that um you posed so I do also want to answer the questions so I'm here with Molly I'm here with Molly so it's Saturday and um I'm going to edit while I was in Ireland I went to a shop called Dune that I quite like it's um a middle of the road a like clothing shop I don't know if it does any homeware I've seen it last year when I went to Ireland and then this year when I went to Ireland we went to a shopping center and my daughter took me she said, oh, you like Dune, don't you? So here's Dune. So I went in there. So I did video because it's nice, isn't it, to see stuff. You like, you want to show. She wants to show you. She has got her little unicorn tails book here today. <laughs> and that's what you're reading, isn't it? Yes. So, um, yeah, so I did video in the store. In the store? In the store. And um, I didn't buy anything. No, I came out empty-handed and my daughter was like, no way, mum, you loved it when you first came in. But I think, because that, um, that one was in a shopping mall and it was smaller store than when I'd went to before, which, where did I go before? Belfast or Dublin? Belfast, I think. And it was like a standalone store, so it was a lot bigger. And the children's section was huge there. Um, so this just had a small section, children's section. But I did go and have a look. Um, and I'm going to show you that now. And then after that, you'll see what I did bring. I did bring home something. I know you likes to see Millie. There she is. She's found a ball. And I think she's got a treat there. She's flicking around. Yep, there we go. So she can still play. <laughs> she's flicking around a little treat. She is. He's looking around a little treat. Yeah, so um, one little messy haired girl is watching Millie. So um, I did buy something, bring something back for the babies though. Um, um, an Irish, like I went to an Irish shop. So it's it's a like not a traditional Irish dress. I think I bought um, last time I went. I came back with Emma Jane, yes, um, an Irish dancing outfit. Yes, I remember that, and we've still got that. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture and tag that on at the end, I don't know. Um, but this time I, uh, yeah, well, you'll see what I got at the end anyway, at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed this, oh, and I will get back to you um, with all your um, questions and things. Um, I'll speak to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> He's going around here now. Hello, say, where did you go? She's probably gone to get a drink. See you in the next video, everybody. Bye. Okay, so I do have to do a voiceover um, because the music was loud in here. I don't want to get a strike. This was beautiful. I looked at this with Frankie in mind. It was super stretchy on the top and those beautiful tears on the bottom. And then a little crossover at the back. It was kind of like a ballerina style. Really pretty. And then I seen that one, but that one was like just too wide. You can even see on the model how wide that is. But beautiful colors, loads of frilly headbands and things. That's the point. I need to find something for Emma Jane for Sam's wedding. And yeah, try to make our way over and have a look at bits. That was nice. I like the way it was gathered at the back, uh, um, baby grow. Really pretty. 
That was a nice matching set, just a matching crossover um, vest top and bottoms. And I always like the um, necks with collars and frills and things on to hide our joins. Straight away would look at this, wouldn't I? Because it's in lilac. <laughs> Sorry, I'm at the moment, I'm like getting into the videoing part. And then I'm also thinking, oh, my daughter's sat outside waiting for me. Not that she minds at all. But I just loved those colours. Maybe when I go back in May, I might be able to pick it up for Frankie because I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And it's always, does anybody else do this? I mean, I know that people do it in my videos. They're like, get that, Caroline. Yes, we like that. We'll have one of those, please. And one of those. <laughs> and look, I'm going back to it again. I just love the colours of it. I don't think I like that one as much. Mind you, that would look better on Frankie because of the neck. Frankie has a chest plate, so that's fine. That was um, a big boxy top that I'm sure Frankie would like. Pretty, pretty summery colours coming in. And yet it was cold in Ireland. <laughs> Enjoy the coast life. I loved that. Um, I start to show some prices, I think. I'm not sure. But I think that was, yeah, I can't see from here while I'm videoing, <laughs> while I'm doing the voiceover. But they were reasonably priced oh I looked at this for Henry yeah I loved that little sweatshirt with the hood on but I am trying to be so good because I do have an you know I am going back to Ireland again in May and then we have the doll shows coming up oh I just loved it the little hood oh Caroline big regrets now while I'm and then I'll get over there and I'll be like, no, I think this is like, um, this is like a, maybe a known celebrity brand over in Ireland, you know, an influencer brand. It's definitely a different style of stuff this side. I looked at that. I liked that. And I looked at that for little Ben, my little um, godson. But as I was only there for the weekend as well, I didn't have a great big, like, luggage suitcase. But then we could have posted stuff home, couldn't we? Anyway, you already know that I didn't buy anything from here. Mm, that was nice. I loved that jacket. I always look at nighties. Frankie likes nighties. Not that she needs anything at the moment. She had a nice, a nice um, size haul. They have a lot of confirmations and things. Being Catholic over in Ireland, so there was a lot of. Um, a lot of um, pretty dresses for that. And I think we're coming over to more of the actual dune rather than the branded section. And I'm sorry you do watch my feet because I don't like to, if I can help it, get people in, especially not children. And it was busy. It was busy. It was Saturday. That is nice. That's nice. Jack's got one like that. I didn't like the trousers. Um, these were nice little sets. But I think as well, because the weather was so rubbish, I just wasn't feeling any of the summer vibes. <laughs> that was a nice set, though. Little bunny set. See, little t-shirt, little pair of leggings and a cardigan. That was cute. That was another little bunny set. Pick the camera up, Caroline. So I will, but look, can you see all the feet that are going past me? There's a lot of people in there. <laughs> that was cute. That was really cute as well. Oh, look at that. That's so sweet. 
<laughs> 10 pounds C for that set, which is good. That was lovely, felt really soft. That was nice. I love that. Look at that little dog with the little ears on the pocket. <laughs> Hmm. I might have to make a trip trip in there again when I go in May. <laughs> and cute, cute, cute stuff. But this was definitely not like the store in Belfast. The store in Belfast was huge. A few accessories. The bibs were a good price. Rebecca always wants bibs for Jack, but she likes the cloth ones and they have the like the plastic backs, which she doesn't really want. So they were cloth. Mm. Lots of blankets, baby grows. And I liked, uh, yeah, I did like that outfit again there. That dress was quite cute. As when I went, it was Easter weekend as well. And then I'm coming over now to look at the bigger clothes. But I think these went from age one and a half, so they would also fit Emma Jane. I'm always looking for cardigans for Emma Jane, but I think I have quite a few now in all sorts of colors for her. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so I will show you what I picked up. Um, it was only a few things. It's not a lot in this green-coloured Irish bag. <laughs> So like I said, I went into this Irish shop and I got this traditional little Irish girl with her with her ginger hair. Um, Irish farmyard friends, it says. She has a little Irish um, green dress on with um, shamrocks. A little bee and a little ladybird and she's all in green she's so blooming cute isn't she so I thought the girls well and the boys would someone will get a kick out pushing this around in a push chair she is really cute yeah I love her little dress it's all I don't think you can get it off oh yes you can so she can be undressed Wow, Emma Jane will like that. Anyway, that was a little cute dolly. And then I got this, this little outfit. What's this? Oh, this is a pin. This is an Irish pin that I bought. It's for a friend. It says, an Irish wish from the heart of a friend. May good luck be yours. May your joys never end. It's one of the like traditional like sayings of our Ireland. So it is a pin. Well, we call it a pin. It, it I don't call this a pin. This is a badge, but they call it a pin. Okay, and then um, this ah Irish eyes are smiling. And now I thought this might fit Henry. But I'm not so sure because the legs don't actually look like they are long enough. What did I get? Six to nine months. I probably should have got um, nine to 12 because the legs don't look nowhere near wide or long enough for him. We will see. But anyway, it's really cute. Irish farmyard friends. Baby grow. And it's got sheep all over it. Ireland, the Wild Atlantic Way, Ancient East. So if you follow 
like the roads, trips and things. There is the Wild Atlantic Way there and Ancient East. Irish eyes are smiling with a lovely little sheep on there. And and the shamrocks and then with the matching bib. Um, it's like a like a creamy, it's not lemon, but it's more like a creamy colour. It's not white. Um and then it's it's just got the same print on the arms with the sheep and the trees and the shamrocks. And um and then the bib. So yeah, I did think of Henry when I got this, but now I've got it. When it was like on the hanger in the store, it looked it looked rather large. <laughs> it doesn't matter because I am going again. I will go again, definitely. And you know, my daughter is all settled over there. Um so yeah, that this is what I bought home for the babies. And it's even on the feet, the little print. And that was it. I didn't go over there to buy gifts. Oh, I did bring something back for Frankie, actually. Didn't I bring something back over here? I did buy something back for me and Frankie, did we? Um, we went into a toy shop, which was next to the Tesco's there. And they have these, Toy Town Toasty Treats. Toy Town's the name of the shop. This is Toasty Treats. 12 scented plushies to collect. Make a surprise pet. Don't know. Thought it looked fun. You put the toast in. You press the button down, I think, and then it pops up. Um, I actually have no idea. It just looked really cool. <laughs> you know what I'm like for toys. It just looked really cool. I forgot I got that, actually. And, um, oh, when we were in there, we got some Sylvanian family surprise bags as well, which I've already opened while I was over there. But this looks neat, doesn't it? Just a funny little toaster. Yeah, so we and Frankie will be opening that. So thank you very much, everybody. I forgot that, that I had to do that with you, Frankie. I've completely forgot. Anyway, there we go. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Just a little add-on that I couldn't find the picture of Emma Jane in her um, Irish outfit. So that will have to be a week, a photo for in the week. <laughs>